Это видно? Да, все видно, пожалуйста, начинайте. Uh -huh. У вас тоже Слайда, со слайда там. Со слайда. Так, секунду. Угу. Так, здесь. Слышно меня сейчас хорошо? Да. Идеально. Так, э, ну, так, чего еще раз продолжить? Следующий слайд. Хорошо. Uh, this slide we see the taxonomy of algorithms for reinforcement learning. Uh, Let's move uh, to the task algorithm itself. Uh, this is abbreviation that stands of state, action, reward, state, action. This may simplify reflect the fact that the main function for updating the full value depends on the agent's current state one, S1. The action that the agent chooses A1. The reward that the agent returns for choosing this action. Uh, the state S2 that the agent enters after performing this action. And finally, the next action A2 that the agent chooses in its new state. Uh, reinforcement learning is based on the Bellman equation, which in our case has the following form. Uh, for our algorithm, uh, the equation is converted to this form. Uh, now it's So it's worth um, explaining what the alpha and gamma coefficients, coefficients are responsible for. Uh, alpha is the learning rate. It determines the extent to which the newly, uh, newly uh, reserved information overlaps to the old one. A factor of zero will make the engine learn nothing. And a factor of one will make the agent only consider the most recent uh, information. Uh, gamma is the factor of discounting. It uh, determines the importance of future reward. A coefficient of uh, zero makes an agent opportunistic. Opportunistic. <laughs> opportunistic. Uh, by considering only current reward, uh, while a uh, coefficient approaching one make uh, him strive for long-term high reward. Uh, the formula above is described in more detail here. Um, so let's look at small popular example of cliff, the cliff walking problem to understand this algorithm. Initially, we have a null Kuvelo table Uh, as the training process, uh, the agent will fill it out. We need to get the opposite side without uh, falling off the cliff. If the engine falls off the cliff, they lose 100 points. 
the uh, image below shows the result of the um, agent's training. The cool learning algorithm is presented to contrast the fast uh, So how we can see cool learning algorithm, uh, here, cool learning algorithm is more greedy, but less effective in the long run for this particular problem. He chooses a shortest path, which seems reasonable, but uh, almost more risky. For example, if we had a chance of random movement, we could fall into the cliff and lose uh, 100 rewards. Plus the part of the path was, uh, that has already been completed. With this mind, uh, sorry, with this mind, we can see that the SARS algorithm is more conservative, choosing a longer path further from the cliff. Uh, now, before considering the specific task, let's highlight mm -hmm. the main attributes of uh, SARS. Я, я, я прошу прощения, у нас 5-7 минут на одну презентацию. Мы уже uh, говорили минут 40, почти 30. Чуть-чуть побыстрее, если можно. Ну, хорошо. Uh, the model, model 3, policy on policy, action space and action, uh, state space is discrete, operation, operator is uh, two values. Um, consider the problem. We have a trading environment such as forest or stocks, and we want our agent to get the maximum benefit from this action. Uh, first, let's define action. Uh, we only um, uh, there are many actions required, but only actions for of selling and buying are adequate for training. In addition, we define trading position. We only need uh, long and short position. In simple vision. A long position wants to buy uh, shares where, when prices are low and make a profit by sticking uh, to them while their value rises. While a short position wants to sell shares while a high value and use this value to buy shares at low, lower value while keeping the difference as profit. Uh, so we create an environment for training our agent is presenting at this slide. Uh, you will notice that the agent always starts with a short position. Uh, after training, we will get uh, the following results. Uh, short and long position are shown in red and green. So next slide shows the data used to build the learning environment. Uh, we need to pay attention to the difference between the maximum possible benefit and the benefit that our agent receives. So uh, thank you for your attention.